topic here is uh, ANC antibodies. So the first question is the staining pattern that is a granular cytoplasmic staining. So this kind of pattern occurs in which type? Which type of ANCA? And the second question is the perinuclear ANCA. What are the conditions where it is predominantly positive? So in this video, we'll find these answers and learn in detail. So to begin with, we need to know that the ANCA are the antibodies. So what is meant by the ANCA? ANCA is nothing but the anti-neutrophil. It is the anti-neutrophil. It is the anti-neutrophil cytoplasmic. Anti-neutrophil cytoplasmic antibodies. Anti-neutrophil cytoplasmic antibodies. They are the antibodies that are targeted against specific proteins. So they are targeted. It is a targeted against against specific against specific proteins so they are targeted against the specific proteins present in the neutrophils in the neutrophils and the monocytes and they are further classified into the cytoplasmic ANCA as well as a perinuclear perinuclear ANCA so let's just recap here so we saw the ANCA so that by definition it is uh, the, the expansion is nothing but the anti-neutrophil cytoplasmic antibodies they are the antibodies that are targeted against specific proteins so specific proteins they are present in the neutrophils and the monocytes and they can be further classified as cytoplasmic as well as the perinuclear variety now moving ahead we'll be looking at some characteristics firstly we'll be comparing the cancA that is a cytoplasmic and followed by the pnca that is a perinuclear anti nuclear antibody perinuclear anti neutrophil cytoplasmic antibodies so firstly the point we are discussing is the it is directed against so what is it directed against so if you see what is it directed against in case of the cytoplasmic anc Cytoplasmic ANCA is nothing but the CANCA. So in case of the CANCA is nothing but the protein. It is the proteinase. PNCA is nothing but the proteinase 3. The proteinase 3 is nothing but the PR. It is a PR3. And secondly, the perinuclear ANCA, that is the PANCA, it is directed against the MPO. What is MPO? MPO is nothing but the myeloperoxidase. Myeloperoxidase. So then we are going to see in conditions where it is increased and decreased. So predominantly positive, predominantly positive in case we are seeing the cytoplasmic ANCA. So where is it positive? It is positive in case of the granulomatosis. It is positive in case of the granulomatosis. And this is the poly, it is the polyangitis granulomatosis with the polyangitis. That is it includes the Wegener granulomatosis, WG. And let me write it down, Wegener granulometosis. Next, we'll move on to the, before that, we'll just recap what we did here. So, we, we are going to discuss about the CNCA and the PNCA, that is the cytoplasmic and the perinuclear respectively. So, firstly, the topic being uh, directed against. Under this subheading, we have the under cytoplasmic, it is the protein protease 3 protease 3 or the pr3 in case of the pnca that is um, the perinuclear anca it is a myeloperoxidase that is a mpo so where is it my positive in the cnca the predominantly positive so under this it includes the granulomatous with the polyangitis that is a wegener granulomatosis now we'll look at the panca that is the perinuclear anca so under the PANCA, what is it? Predominantly positive. So predominantly positive, it includes a microscopic. It includes a microscopic polyangitis. Next, the Churg, Churg Strauss, Churg Strauss syndrome. Next, the crescentric, the crescentric glomerular nephritis as well as the IBD that is the inflammatory bowel disease. Next when we look at the staining pattern. 
the staining pattern in case of the CANCA. CANCA is nothing but the cytoplasmic ANCA. So here uh, the staining pattern is the granular. The granular cytoplasmic. Granular cytoplasmic stain. Next when we look at the PANCA is nothing but the perinuclear ANCA. The staining pattern here is nothing but the perinuclear. It is the perinuclear or the nuclear staining. Perinuclear or the nuclear staining. So now let's quickly recap. So we were dealing with the PNCA. The PNCA, what is it predominantly positive? It is nothing but the microscopic polyangiitis. Next, it also includes the stroke straw syndrome, and then it is also the, the crescentric glomerulonephritis is included, as well as the IBD, that is the inflammatory bowel disease. So what is the staining pattern? Staining pattern is that it includes uh, the your staining pattern in terms of the CNC, the cytoplasmic and cytoplasmic ANCA so here there is uh, the granulomatous cytoplasmic staining and in case of the PANCA there is a perinuclear or the nuclear staining now we'll be answering our questions the first question we asked was in terms of the we asked where is the granular cytoplasmic stain so we asked where does this occur where is this taking place so granular matter is uh, cytoplasmic stain this occurs in case of the cytoplasmic ANCA this was the first question the second question we asked was in case of PNCA with the predominantly positive predominantly positive conditions so this includes there is a microscopic there is microscopic polyangitis. Next, it also includes the Chirkstraus, Chirkstraus syndrome. Then also the crescentric, crescentric glomerulonephritis, as well as the IBD, inflammatory bowel disease. Now let's quickly recap. The we asked two questions. That is a granulomatous cytoplasmic stain it is seen in case of the CANCA and then what about the PANCA the PANCA the positive predominantly positive conditions it includes the microscopic polyangitis next it also includes the Chirkstraw syndrome then also the crescentric chromulonephritis and the IBD that is a inflammatory bowel disease so this was about the ANC antibodies to learn and grow daily please do subscribe Oh, 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 oh,